notice that Sam has got sunglasses on. Tell us about them. Um, I just went out to Specsavers yesterday and had them fitted because I ordered them about two weeks ago. But with astigmatism, uh, which is like to do with my eyes, it just changes the shape of my eye, um, which that's what causes the blur blurriness. Um, I should be wearing sunglasses because I, my eyes are quite sensitive to light, particularly at night time, but during the day as well. So first time wearing sunnies and I drove here this morning with them on and it was like, it's like, wow, I don't have to squint. <laughs> so they're prescription sunnies. Yes. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> and this is what it looks like when you first arrive into Kabulja. There, you've got the adult shop, the bed store, and Piston Piss Stop, I think that's a mechanic shop. You got O'Brien's Mechanical there, Kabulja Auto Wash, and Kabulja Munchies Takeaway Food. And uh, yeah, you just drive along here, but we'll keep going, and we'll go through Moray Field, and we'll end up at Burpengary at the Poo. Ooh, we're about to see a monster truck. Looks like they're going to do a monster truck show in Kabulcha here. Kabulcha Showground, monster truck and fireworks. No other has combined it with fireworks because Clive Featherby, I'm trying to think of the name of his company, what's his firework company called? Uh, might even say on the sign. He owns these monster trucks and the fireworks. Ah, uh, well, he doesn't have the name of his firework company and I can't remember what it is offhand. But uh, I'm pretty sure he does fireworks all over the world, including uh, uh, the Sydney fireworks at, um, what is it? New Year's Eve and shit. Couple of duckies on Moray Field Road. For some reason my camera's, it's not, it's blurry. Oh, it's better now. Hello duckies. Right, we're going the shortcut to the pool, we think. This one leads, like normally we stay on Moray Field Road and we keep going um, to the roundabout and turn left where there's the big sign saying swimming complex, blah, blah, blah. But yesterday we come exploring these suburbs after the drone because this is the little suburb built just beyond the tree line outside the sports complex. And we found that if you turn left earlier on Moray Field Road, yeah, look, that's the road straight ahead to the pool there. So we're gonna get straight in and we'll be in the top car park for a change though yeah. too it might be um shorter walk to the front door you never know won't be uphill <laughs> be downhill oh i'll be uphill walking back to the car but anyway not bad actually this is not bad at all god i love the grounds of this place Terrific. look at that the pool's right there yeah this i would say this was quite a shortcut me too Whee. Hello, Tash. Good. Now, I missed the story of Mr. Skittles yesterday. Soon you're going to be putting more Skittles in his pocket for the children to take out as we get nearer to Halloween, right? <laughs> She's got a bucket of Skittles. Oh, there's a spider on there now. Another one there. Oh, bucket of Skittles. How, how are you going to put that in the pocket? You're not you're going to do no, something. Just sit no, I'm not just filming sit your face. <laughs> ah, she's just sitting in a lap, and the kids will be able to have some skittles. <laughs> That's a nice gesture. How do you tash? <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, today can I have? Um, are you able to take my order now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a chicken soup and a hot dog, just with tomato sauce, please. So none of the cheese and all the extras that everyone else loves on doggies. Okay. <laughs> The spiders on the tablecloth. So these are a bit reflux causing. There's no sugar ones, but I just want to load up with sugar, really necessarily. And uh, what I ordered was, Sammy, I ordered the um, chicken soup because it's really loaded with vegetables, and then I bought a plain hot dog. So it's the naughtiest thing on the menu and probably the best thing. Best, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get my veggies in, and then I guess I'll get protein through that hot dog. It'll probably be a bit fatty, but I, why I want to try it is because I know it'll be fresh bread. And I know she'll have sourced the bread roll fresh this morning. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sourced a, um, a better Frankfurt. She wouldn't have just gone with the cheapest. She would have gone with the meatiest and best one she could get to. I agree. So, um, what did you order? Burger. Ah, oh, yeah. The burger is just to die for, man. You're going to love it. Huh. Yeah, they do good here. My phone's all foggy, I think. <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh, well, I'll end it. A bit more of a 
overcast day here today as we sit in the cafe, but it's so cool and wonderful. And uh, tell you what, after sh shoulders today, uh, yeah, I'll tell you that people, your shoulders are the liars of the body, my old training partner John used to say. Um, they will tell you they're a lot more fatigued than they are. My shoulders are telling me that they're really exhausted today. <laughs> but yeah, but we did a really long swim, 40 minutes after our weights too. So we did 20 minutes weight, so an hour of strength training and cardio. And the fact that we're doing light, high reps and moving from machine pretty quick, that's uh, pretty cardio-ish as well. So yeah, we're training pretty hard. Like I'm feeling like I've done a really big workout or like in the old days, a sprint triathlon, I'd feel like that after this or a game of footy. So yeah, I mean, I'm not smashed up <laughs> like a game of footy, like no. after being tackled and punched and everything, but yeah. I've got that same level of, I've done some cool stuff. That's it. I mean, I'm sleeping well at night. When my head hits up here, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, the hot look dog looks incredible. The soup looks rad and it's got a nice toast. I'm just gonna have, a, she said it's hot, but I wanna have a little sample. Oh, look at that. That's the real deal, man. All those veggies. Oh, oh, that is so good. That is so good. I'm gonna have another mouthful, actually. It's really good, it's got cabbage in it, which I love. <laughs> that is really good. All right. See that. Looks like a pretty good doggy. It does. Yeah. Okay. Fresh bread, good frank. It's fresh bread and a good frank. That's your dog. Margarine. Yeah. It's the best dog in town. Easy. <laughs> well, there we go. All right. This is like a. It's almost like a sourdough. Mm. The soup is first rate and everything. Oh, I love the butter with the vegetables and that, the margarine. Um, I spoke to what appeared to be a manager here who'd seen our videos yesterday and um, I want to, friend, in a friendly way, disagree with him. He said that um, this is just a, uh, he wasn't talking it down, but he said, this is a wonderful place for a leisure center, cafe or whatever and a high-end place, um, you know, that would be the only place you'd get better food. But I would say this is high-end. If they're using fresh ingredients and it's all vegetables and everything, it doesn't matter where you are, it's about the food. And I, I say that the food here is high-end, I believe that. I've eaten at high-end restaurants all over the world and this is high-end, it's as high-end as it gets, right? But that guy's a very nice man and um, he was very kind about my video and it was very encouraging, but I wanted to encourage him too. This shit's high end, man, get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's a lucky man. Look at that. I want to see you have your first bite. How am I going to fit that in? <laughs> shit. I can't even grab it. As I'm filming, I'm still sipping away at my soup with my right hand. <laughs> you need me slurp properly? Jeez, look at this. I'm gonna put this in. Oh man, all that salad. All fresh. Fresh bread as well, mate. Is it fresh bread? Uh -huh. Excellent. Mm. Alright, mm. so if you're getting anything like what I had yesterday, you're in heaven right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. And I'm I'm just oh, this is just the balls. So you're still tucking in. Still got the goods, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was so hungry waiting for this. Mm. So good to see him finally get the goods. <laughs> Chips are really good too. Oh, aren't they? Mm. They're just phenomenal. They would be so good if they had a really good gravy on them as well. Mm. Like they're seriously good on their own, but they would be seriously good gravy chips in my book. Yep. As you can see, no soup left. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That soup's so good, I actually do want another bowl, but it's $8 a bowl. So I spent five and eight, another five there. It's too much on lunch, you know what I mean? For, uh, you know, to, you know what? I'm probably tempted. I, I probably. Did I overcook this one? Probably did, didn't I? Overcook what? The 
It's beautiful. No it's way. Good. Wasn't overcooked <laughs> well, yesterday either. I wasn't out there all the time with it. Like, yeah, right. It's hard when you get a serving and <laughs> that other stuff on as well and stuff, stuff as well. Can I have another chicken soup now? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, yeah. Like hell yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his last bite of heaven. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> That's what that, um, I was watching Spanion. And when he lifts weights, he does a set and he goes, boom. Everything's boom. <laughs> I like it. And I, I, I've done that before. And I'd realised when I saw it that something I do. I can't remember. I was doing something the other day. I think I was cooking on video here. And every time I finished something, I was going, boom, boom. <laughs> so it's an Australian thing, boom. But he does it heaps. He, boom, All boom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I'm getting another soup. Uh, if I can ingest all the vegetables I need to ingest for good fibre and enzymes and all that stuff in some way that I find super palatable, I've got to take advantage of it while it's there. I had to move because I'm deathly allergic to bees. There was a bee and an angry bee over there, my friends. So <laughs> we've moved here and I'm waiting for the soup to steal. But I like, we like these chairs and tables better anyway. These black chairs are more comfortable than those silver chairs. Silver chair. <laughs> I like that band. Here's my second soupy loopy doopy loopy. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to eat any of the bread. That'll fill me up too much, but I wanted to get the veggies in. Oh God, look at it. Steaming away with all this nutritional goodness. Oh, oh, full of vegetables. And yet I'd write home about it. It is soup to write home about. I'm just gorging on it and all the health will affect my body positively. I don't know. All right, so we finished having our soup and all that. We ended up being here for ages because we did, uh, the cafe was busy, so we waited a bit for the food. And then I got that second soup as well, uh, which maybe I overdid. But the thing is, look, like I said, if I can find a way to get vegetables in, because I'm, I'm not eating enough fiber and vegetables at the moment for sure. Um, so to get that big soup full of everything, she had everything in that, all the vegetables. That was a good idea, you yeah, know, but this is beautiful, you right, Sammy? Oh, peaceful. So peaceful. Now we're in the car, about to pull out. What a delightful time. Nice way to kill a morning, man. It's like being, at, when you come here, it's like being at a resort. It's so wonderful. Uh.